It looks like this July is going to be great, with lots of new K-dramas and some sequels that we are looking forward to. Here are some of the many K-dramas to be thrilled about. The release of various amazing series, including The Glory, Taxi Driver, and Duty After School, has turned this year into an excellent one for K-drama lovers. While the release of the aforementioned series is highly expected by many before they are even published, several underappreciated ones have also rapidly become industry successes, like Prime Video's Island and Cockdu, Season of Deity. For those who enjoy watching K-dramas, every single month of this year has been astonishing, and July looks like no exception. Tons of new dramas are being released on streaming services and TV networks such as Netflix and TVN, and several well-received shows are returning for second seasons. With, without further delay, here are some of the finest K-dramas that will be released this July 2023. Shadow Detective 2 Shadow Detective is an original series from Disney Plus that was released in October of 2022 and quickly gained popularity amongst fans, holding its place as one of the top crime thriller dramas of all time. Its plot centers around a veteran detective named Kim Tae Rock, played by Lee Sung Min, who is close to his retirement at Jumo Police Station. His arrangements for retirement are halted when he picks up a strange phone call from someone who claims to be an old friend who has killed his colleague named Woo Yun Suk. The drama's second season continues his hunt for the unknown blackmailer as he gets closer to solving the murder of his colleague. Depending on where you are, you can watch Shadow Detective 2 on July 5. Strangers Strangers is a new and upcoming K-drama which is based on a webtoon called Nam Nam by Jian Yong Ryong. The K-drama follows the lives of a mother named Yoon Mi, played by Jian Ye Jin, a physical therapist who lacks safety measures in her home, and her daughter Jin Hee, played by Choi Soo Young, a cool girl in her late 20s who is trying to make her life more eventful. Despite the two sharing a bond, their everyday lives place them in a problematic spot as they try to get together despite them being unable to do so. People can begin watching Strangers on Hulu starting July 17. My Lovely Liar when the drama My Lovely Liar initially released its poster, many guessed it was a Chinese one because of its usual plot for love dramas and cheesy characters. However, there is a lot more happening behind its poster, which leads to an interesting assumption. The drama's story revolves around a woman called Mok Sol Hee, played by Kim So Yun, who has trust issues due to her odd power to hear lies, and a murder suspect named Kim Do Ha, played by Huang Min Yun, who is struggling to prove his innocence. How will these two characters meet and turn the story around while simultaneously falling in love? This intriguing drama can be watched by many starting on July 24. Longing for you While romance dramas have become common in the Korean industry, we rarely see dramas with detective genres, at least not ones that keep us thrilled like What Voice, Sig Signal, Sig and Stranger did. Although the drama's title sounds like a romance genre, Longing For You is a crime mystery drama that stars Naoin Wu, who plays as Oh Jin Song. The plot centers on Detective Oh Jin Song, who becomes allies with an investigation team when a murder unexpectedly takes place in a neighborhood that is well known for having a 0% crime rate. However, his involvement with the murder case stems from his brother Jin Wu, played by Choi Min Gi, being identified as a suspect, and despite clearing his name and identifying the true threat, Oh Jin Song was not expecting the result. Soon after his promotion as a result of successfully solving the case, he experiences the delight of working at Gangnam Police Station. But after his brother Jin Woo dies unexpectedly, he is forced back into being a detective to reveal the mystery behind his death. The, the Uncanny Counter Season 2 It has been almost three years since the release of The Uncanny Counter, and it seems that July is possibly saving the best for last. Although the drama's first season ended on a positive note, it left a few details from the original webtoon. The main group of counters will return in the second season to rescue victims who have been controlled by evil souls. While we expect new counters to join the leading group for a huge battle, we might also see other unforeseen occurrences. With the Uncanny Counter's second season being one of the most anticipated series of 2023, July is going to be a great month for K-drama fans. What do you think about these upcoming K-dramas? Write your comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe so you're always updated on Starbiz and your favorite celebrities.